Hey folks, Papa Boris here, playing some more Mini Rogue. I've just had some like ludicrously good luck on camera with this game, and I know some people are gonna be like, oh, this game is stupid, it's just all luck, but you know, you do have to make some good choices and give yourself chances to get lucky to get all the luck that you're getting. We're gonna now play with the Priestess, and I'm hoping for an actual good run that goes well. Like that 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 would be nice. Not that I not that I am complaining about the, the good luck and the and the crazy highs that accompany it, but you know, it'd be nice. It'd be nice to have just a little bit of, okay, this is what the game is like when you, things don't actually go terribly the entire time. All right, I'm gonna just go to the hermit over here. And here, I think we're just gonna swap to make sure that we get a bonfire. So this is actually kind of goofy, but we're actually using the priestess's ability over and over because we get it back every time we go on one of these cards. And the fact that I got an extra experience for free is completely fine. So that's a really nice first floor, but also notice how the priestess is really good here. The fact that she has an ability she can just click on to get value of. This wouldn't have been nearly as strong of a turn if it had been, let's say, like the, um, what's her face? The rogue with the evasion card or the crusader with like the shield card. Okay, so we're gonna go to the corridor. The only problem is we don't have a way of dealing with this cursed dragon right now, but um, that's fine. Do I wanna fight this monster to get an extra experience in exchange for some health? I have so much health. I mean, I might as well get the experience and keep my food. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it on, I'm gonna switch to defensive because if I roll a six, that just kills it. So there's no reason for me to try to keep my options of getting crits. This is not a big deal that it is piercing armor. It's just hitting me for two instead of hitting me for one. I don't really care about that. I got so much experience off that first floor that it's just fine. Now we are gonna level up from the Cursed Dragon. I could try to fight this monster for two coins, but let's just go for this lore card. Sometimes terrible things happen, but sometimes great things happen. Like for example, we could just get a free poison potion. That's nice. And I will use, I don't know actually. The Cursed Dragon is like the best one for the priest to encounter because of course the Cursed Dragon curses you and then you can use the blessing to just uncurse yourself on the next floor. So I don't really care about this thing. Uh, the question is, do I use this at all? Like if I do, how much do I do it for? If you do it for four and hit for eight, you have a 50-50 shot of killing it. Or you could just finish it off with the poison potion, right? Why don't we do it? for three, then it's at six. And so my idea here is that as long as it's not a miss, I can just use the po poison potion to finish it off. And I think that's, I think I'm just fine with it. I mean, I could say, well, at this point, maybe you just take the damage, get cursed, cure the curse immediately on the next floor. And what, I have a 50-50 shot of killing it? But then if I don't kill it, nah, I'm starting to build up a bunch of damage. Let's just use the po the potion. Especially because we're getting a reward might be another potion. All right, healing potion or armor? I'm gonna take armor. Other characters, I would take the healing potion, but the priestess is like, okay, I'll take the armor because I can, I can heal with my hero power. Okay, we get, great. Let's go ahead and get our fire potion. We've leveled up, so we don't need to take experience. So we take the, we heal, and then I'll take the Cursed Relic, that's fine. Note that this thing cannot be cleansed, you have to give it away. But luckily we can do it immediately. All right, this is really nice too, because we can get food or coins here. That's an interesting one. I guess I'll take the food. There's a case to be made for coins and swapping the Holy Potion for an actual, like, good potion. But I can just do that anyway. I can just sell it and then buy a frost potion. So really all I would have gotten for my trouble is like the opportunity to buy some healing, but I'm already doing fine because of my priestess power. So this is fine. I am actually gonna grab this crow. Now we have a lot of food. I'll take the crow. We use it on the next floor as an overview so that we have a good path to the mini boss. You don't wanna hang the crow, hang on to the crow too long I've learned because remember you can only have one um, item card at a time, so if you find like a, an armory or something, then you end up throwing away your crow. Okay, this is kind of annoying. All right, it is hitting me for four damage, which I'm not a fan of. Spider Queen is what, 16 damage? I have a frost potion. I could hit it for five. I don't wanna use it. I actually, I do wanna use a feat. This is, I think, the move. You just pay two health, you're a priestess. We're one damage shy of killing it. That's super annoying, okay. 
I'll fire potion it, which I could have done in the first place and had two more health. Ah, oh, this is nice. Okay, so we'll blessing here. We'll go here. We got our blessing back. We'll get a food. We'll go library, which is safe-ish. Okay, we got our skill back. I mean, I could have used the skill beforehand, but you're not guaranteed to get the skill back. We're gonna go here to try to find some food. And what we find is to experience. Thankfully, we make the check or else I would have gotten poisoned. And now we go fight the Spider Queen. It'd be nice not to get hit by the Spider Queen. That's why I didn't want to use the Frost Potion there. I, should I use this now? No, let's let's roll first and see how this one goes after I freeze her. Uh, that sucks. Well, fine. We'll freeze her and then now let's take a look at what the situation is. So it's 11. Let's say like 11 minus six is five. I have a pretty good chance of killing this thing with two dice. We got exactly five, well that feels great. So we never got hit, we got a thing back. It is a healing potion or an armor. Hmm, okay, we'll take an armor. It's something I can sell later at a shop for you, for more than a healing potion because armor sells for more. And again, I'm just trusting my hero power to get me out of any healing related jams. We got the rickety planks and we're falling down two floors and we're here. We're missing this mini boss. We're gonna be fighting Og. All right, so at this point we have one goal and one goal only, and this is to get to level three before we fight the final freaking boss. Oh my God. Okay, we get a healing, that's fine and all. Um, we're gonna go fight the hermit. This is actually really nice because what we can do here is we can put something safe here. So we can like, let's say, you know what? Let's put the corridor there. Let's put the freaking corridor there. Let's do it, guys. Let's just get it. So we're gonna do this, and hopefully we're not gonna fall down a bunch more floors. This really is just so unlikely. If you have to roll a five, and you have to fail the check. It's like a one in six times one in five. It's like a one in 12 chance. It's just stupid that it happened two runs in a row. We rolled a four, which is very close, but we got a food. We have all the food that we need. So what we're on here is we just desperately need five experience. So here, I think what I'm gonna do See, what is this hitting me for eight and poison? I need to kill this thing. Let's think very carefully. It's got 15 HP. I think I need to take four damage here. And then we're gonna use rerolls if we need to to get to, to get to seven. Okay, so I can't use experience because I need to, ah, here we go. Just don't be a miss, please. Thank you. Um, yeah, I need to actually try to level up. I need two more experience so that I'm rolling the dice. We're gonna go here just because this trap has a chance of giving me two experience. And I rolled the success, I didn't roll the thing, but that's okay because I still got a poison potion, which is fine. We're gonna go here. Uh, I'm just gonna take a drink. I don't know what the point is actually of rolling on that. We got two health, which is fine. And the hunter. Okay, this is the time. We now need to sell our armor. So we go up to maximum gold. We get a frost potion, which is very nice. And we also buy some healing. Now the healing here is really important because I need to be able to use my priestess ability to bomb Og's remains back into the Stone Age. If I can just get to him without anything catastrophically bad happening, then I'm fine. Oh wait, I still need to level up. Oh shoot, I forgot about that. I'm one off from leveling up. <sighs> okay, this is, oh my God, we get a free experience from this card. Now, as the priest, this is not the end of the world because I can I can brute force the first half with the potions and then kill him. I can bomb him in the second half with my um, what's it called divine tribute ability. All right, this monster is a disaster, so we're gonna go here. None of these things are bad enough to care. Even if I'd been uh, if I'd lost four HP and been poisoned, it's still fine. And we get to discard the perception potion here. It just wouldn't have mattered. We're up against the merchant, which is fine. That means it's just safe. And this one actually is nice. I can trade my last two coins for two health. So a little bit of antics, but you can see how it's actually really good contrast here. Like the rogue run I had was also terrible, but this one, because I was able to use my ability to heal the whole time, I actually have a good amount of health here. And I have an ability that lets me guaranteed bomb the second phase. So that's why the priestess is just better than the rogue. Okay. So we rolled a critical hit to see what's going on with that. We rolled minimum, of course, but it's fine. It's still a critical. The question is, do we re-roll? And I think the answer is actually kind of tricky 
No, I don't think you do because we can't use experience. What you do here is I think you freeze. You then roll. You need just eight damage on three dice. Ah! Okay, luckily it missed. But if it let's let's say that it hadn't missed, what you would do is you'd spend health here. I'll just do it because I have enough leeway that I can. What you end up doing is you just spay uh, your health to get the rerolls. You poison po um, potion to finish it off. Unless you get massively unlucky. And then for this part, you just Divine Tribute. 10 damage bomb. And it's over. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Take care.